This is uh, the Honest Footballer coming to you all the way from Bahrain. Hey, Manama. Stay tuned. <laughs> Malaysia Bule. Last walk with Burbs before flying tonight. I'm gonna miss the country. That. Welcome back to episode 12 of The Honest Footballer. And we are packing, ready to go, lastminute.com. Got the old dear helping. Say hi, mum. Hello. She's shy, lad. Always so shy. He doesn't want me to leave. Never gets easier for him. Because he's not going to see me for another year now. Hey, boy. What do you pack to go for another year? Hey. That's it. Trying to squeeze one year of life into two bags. <sighs> Let's go! This is it, time to say goodbye. It's never nice, but kind of used to it now. Um, obviously exciting to, to be going to, buy, to Dubai, but just to know that I'm not going to see my mum for like another year is, uh, yeah, it's never nice. Never, never nice. But anyway, we'll say our goodbyes and then, yeah, I'll catch you on the flight. Okay. Just walk into the gate now. Um, just got off the phone to Ollie and Lucy and we were just, you know, just mentioned to them regarding obviously leaving my mum and my dog in Bourbon and it's, it never gets easier. Like it really doesn't. And I think people don't see this side of, of sport enough. You know, not just me, like I don't, I'm not married, I don't have any kids, but you know, imagine leaving your kids and your wife, you know, especially during these times in the pandemic when they can't, it's just so hard to travel. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's not easy for a man to go through, but it's a sacrifice that obviously I chose to make. And, you know, I'm turning 30 this year and I'd like to obviously play football for as long, long as I can. And obviously, you know, that's, that's in, the, in the universe's hand. I don't know obviously how many more years I've got left to play in and it's just daunting. So, you know, these are the sacrifices that I'm making now in order to have sort of a, a secure and, you know, and, and good future for myself and my family and for my mum. You know, she sacrificed everything for me when I was younger in order for me to, you know, play football. You know, she used to drive me to training, left, right, centre, in the pouring rain, she used to stand there. Um, and I think a lot of people do forget, you know, especially in today's society, with like money and materialistic things. Um, people, you know, I was the same. I, I spent loads of money myself, but, you know, who was there for you from the start? You know, my parents, both mum and dad, so, you know, I've got five, six years now to be able to secure myself financially in order to obviously help her as well. So it's never nice leaving, but hopefully it'll be for a good cause. Landed in Dubai, currently half six in the morning. The team don't get to the hotel till about one. So I'm gonna go meet Dom for breakfast, Gina for breakfast. And then I think we're gonna report with the squad at one o'clock at the hotel. So um, yeah, I'm gonna head to the hotel now, drop my bags off, meet Dom. His mask always fall down, it's so annoying. There you go, safe, stay safe for us. Meet Dom and then um, yeah, meet the squad. Buzzing. Back to international football. Let's go. So I've managed to get the room key and check in first thing in the morning before the team gets here. I'm buzzing because I'm rooming with Lyrid. Guess who's turned up? The one and only. The <laughs> one and only London was popping. Brand new clothes is rocking. I see. He's never changed. <laughs> 
never change. Just gonna have breakfast before meeting the national team at one o'clock. That's my roommate for a month. Struggling. Fucking hell, it's gonna be lit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm happy to see you, my brother. Happy to, to uh, finalize that we can be together in one team, finally, and representing Malaysia. And uh, I hope uh, and wish you all the best, brother. And, uh, we're gonna rock it. <laughs> Just stay tuned. <laughs> Malaysia Bulu. And the squad's here on his footballer time. Here it is, the foreign boys. <laughs> This is it. Back in the national team. New number, number six. Ganny's got 15, a bit fuming. I was trying to, I was going to buy the number off him, but he wouldn't let me. Um, Before we go here, got a few tops, bags. Can't even get into it, Louis. Number six. Gila, ni gila sebab rambut aku tak ada lagi. Aku lagi tua, tak ada rambut, dia suka. Aduh. First training session with the squad. Nervous. First, first time with the squad. Nervous. We've got a bit of time off now, uh, just in between training. We're heading to the mall. Little group session out. Matty, Summers, first camp. How's it feel, maybe in the first camp? Really honoured, really proud. It's good to be with the lads. What can you bring that's a little bit different? Oh, I'm fucking what you <laughs> I'm quite loud on the pitch. I, I talk a lot, and I know the other goalkeepers are as well. So um, I like to think I, I bring that. Um, as, as I said before, you know, I, I've. Uh, I made an effort to to speak Portuguese to the people in Penang and, and um, yeah, hopefully I, I bring that um, to think I'm commanding, but... <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll put that clip in so you understand what we're talking about. <laughs> Gany, Samare, Wolves, got the same bar on it there. Both of them put it in. Day two training, um, prepping for the first friendly against Kuwait, which is in Dubai. So yeah, it's really hot, really hot, and there's no wind. So like normally, obviously in Malaysia and Thailand, places a bit of wind and it's a bit more wet, but it's so dry here. Um, so it's got to make sure I hydrate a lot. You know, get at least two, three liters of water in a day. Um, so important for my recovery. So yeah. Anyway, gonna get changed. Back on the day two, we're going to be working on defensive shapes today. Matty's <laughs> 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 room. 
Mo's losing 2 0 to a goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> All night he was going on about, oh, I'm going to use, I'm going to use Newcastle Jets against Sam because he's shit and he's 2-0 down. Oh, I'm embarrassing. No! 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 Morning workout. The squad. Number eight dog. friendly of the tour against Kuwait. Um, it's going to be a very, very difficult game. You know, we've done obviously a bit of preparation um, on them the last two, three days. Just these are kind of the opponents that we need to play before obviously going into the game against UAE. So we just practice, etc. So Gaffer's doing two teams, um, 45 minutes. Buzzing to get 45 minutes on my legs, you know, no matter what the result is today, um, obviously we want to do everyone proud, but it's more so to sort of gel with a team, get my legs and uh, minutes on my legs, etc. So it'll be exciting. Anyway, wish us luck. Um, hopefully we'll come out of this with a positive result um, going into the game against Bahrain and then against UAE. So I'm excited. Come on, first game in five years, a bit nervous, but let's go. Secara keseluruhan kami barisan Julati masih lagi tidak berpuas hati dengan cara permainan kita lah. Kita belum sampai satu tahap yang terbaik lah. Tetapi kita tahu keputusan uh, tu segi sebanyak boleh menjejas, menjejaskan kita punya apa tim yang moro. Saya rasa pemain-pemain uh, pun rasa kecewa juga atas keputusan tersebut. Tetapi yang penting next game uh, lawan Bahrain kita akan memperbaiki lah segala kelemahan kita dan again uh, lawan Bahrain adalah anggota test match yang terakhir kita harap barisan keselamatan nanti akan boleh uh, dah kita finalize uh, dan uh, tidak ada uh, pelawanan ujian yang 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 lain lah so uh, kami barisan Julate uh, akan analyze balik apa yang kelemahan pasukan yang penting kita nak tengok pemain-pemain bangkit daripada kekalahan itu sebut dan bermain sebagai satu pasukan dan juga yang uh, sekali lagi kita nak lihat teamwork dan team spirit uh, kembali kepada pasukan yang sebenarnya lah walaupun saya dah cuba uh, bagi peluang semua pemain bermain pada malam ini Good morning guys um, Disappointing result last night um, Positives that you've got to look at is, you know, it's my first game for like a month and a half. Um, got a good 45 minutes, but obviously it's never nice. Obviously, as a defender, conceding goals and we conceded three very, very easy goals in like the space of 10 minutes. Um, just think we, we lacked a bit of character last night. Um, you know, and I know 
there's no excuse in regards to like the team not having to play together for like 18 months etc because you know football if you have character and you're working hard as a unit um, you know these kind of easy goals that we could see wouldn't have happened so disappointing for me for myself obviously my, my debut back with the national team and losing um, um, to Kuwait last night 3-1 I think it was so yeah today we've got an off day we've just had a meeting with, with the gaffer and you know, he just expressed it is the, is the disappointment in the team which is obviously not nice but these are the things that happen in football you know um, you have wins you have losses um, and it's how you adapt to, to losing is one of the main and key things you know mentally you've got to stay strong you know stay away from the comments and negativity that you get online um, and focus and really really focus for the next game because sport's funny because people don't remem remember you for the last game you know so you know if we have a good result against Bahrain and there are three games coming up no one's going to remember this, this friendly that we played so yeah, got to stay mentally tough. Like I said, today's the off day. Um, for me, I played 45 last night. It was great to get the minutes in, in the legs. Do feel a bit heavy, um, which is normal after having such a long time off. And, you know, I was replicating, doing stuff in the gym, etc. But completely different level of fitness when it comes to game time and, and actually playing. So I'm just in the gym now. Um, just had breakfast and obviously a team meeting. And I'm just going to do... Uh, a bit of in interval training today on the treadmill, so I'm gonna work for at least 20 minutes. Gonna start on level eight, and every two minutes I'll increase the level by one. Um, hopefully get to like 16, 17 um, by a minute 20. So yeah, I'll let you know how that goes, and then tomorrow we fly to Bahrain. So I'll see you in Bahrain after this. That was a blow. Got my legs up now. Got up to level 16. Matt is in the gym, getting it in. What are you doing today, Matt? It's not going to be, bro. How come? You've got a little Picks bit up. of a niggle? Picks up this little niggle, yeah. Yeah. See how we go. What mobility work are you doing? Just a bit of movement after the first time in three or four days, bro. Try and get everything flying. Get ready for Bahrain. That's it, bro. That's the goal. Big player. Kehadiran Junior Estal seolah-olah di waktu yang tepat untuk jurulatih negara Tan Cheng Ho. Dengan kehilangan dua tonggak utama menjelang pertemuan dengan Emiriah Arab Bersatu, jawapan untuk menggantikan kedudukan itu seolah-olah ada pada Estal. Ditambah dengan peluang 45 minit yang diberikan oleh Cheng Ho ketika aksi dengan Kuwait, itu sudah cukup untuk menggambarkan Estal berada dalam perancangan utama beliau. Itu pilihan coach ya, itu pilihan coach. Yang yang penting untuk saya, saya bagi 100% um, dalam training, dalam build, kalau saya dapat minit, um, itu je. Main dengan hati untuk negara saya. Tapi itu pilihan coach. Kalau kalau dia mau, uh, memang saya, saya ada. Uh, coach dah cakap, was meant to be last year, right? The, the friendly was meant to be last year, so it's been delayed. And it's a it's a it's a perfect game for us to to challenge ourselves. Kami dah tahu Bahrain level up lagi sedikit pada UAE. So, you know, we, we come here earlier um, to, that's why we come here early to prepare for the UAE Awal. So, kita boleh adapt untuk the weather, um, everything, and that's why we've come here for a month. Segala-galanya terserah kepada Cheng Ho kerana pertemuan dan juga aksi persahabatan dengan pasukan Bahrain memainkan dua misi penting. Sama ada mahu melakarkan kejutan dalam masa yang sama, Cheng Ho perlu memastikan pilihan terbaik menjelang aksi kelayakan Piala Asia 2023 melibatkan tiga pasukan Emiriah Arab Bersatu, Thailand dan juga Vietnam. Uh, saya dah bagi, you know, I always play, I try to play my best tapi bagi saya lah performance tu slow sikit sebab sebulan tidak main. Jadi uh, so saya masuk memang apa, dia punya level laju pada you know pada club level dengan Thai dengan Malaysia so um, bagi performance saya I could do a lot better I'm um, in that 45 minutes um, you know but I gave 100% and it was important for me to play 45 minutes and, and, and get the minutes in my legs you know 6 a.m. wake up call flying to Bahrain today just finished packing my bags again 
always packing, always on the move. Um, we're in Bahrain for five days, got a game, and then um, fly back to Dubai for obviously the tournament, so yeah. Morning. Coming to you all the way from. Where are we, Ganny? Where are we? Bahrain. Hey, Manama. Let's go. Selamat petang. Kita baru sampai dekat Bahrain. Tapi flight dekat pada Dubai satu jam saja. Baru sampai duduk di Intercontinental Hotel. Tapi sini lagi panas pada Dubai. Dan muka sudah ada apa terbakar. Um, ini ada Sam dengan Kobe. So kita sini lima hari. Ada satu game friendly lawan Bahrain. Lepas tu balik Dubai untuk the World Cup qualifiers. So episode ni saya buat setengah bahasa Melayu dengan English. So ada orang dekat Malaysia tidak percaya saya boleh cakap Melayu, tapi boleh. He's only gone and done it. He's put the fade in it to be fair. Looks a lot better than it did. Well done, son. 10 out of 10. If you want to get your hair cut, here's his um, Instagram. DM him, swipe up. <laughs> How do you feel, Dom? What you wanna? Get me, okay? Okay, that. Ready, that. Ready, bro. Huh? Ready, bro. How you feel, brother? 
I'm Gucci, bro. Gucci. I'm Gucci, man. Ready to tear up the right wing? I am. No, I'm in the left wing, actually. Oh, okay. Right. Got to change up. There's your partner in crime, Matty D. This right game wing. is not. How What's you up? feeling, mate? Kicking What's off the up? campaign the, today? The honest footballer. How are we? Yeah, good, mate. How are you feeling today? Right, yeah? Right, yeah. Ready? Looking sharp, mate. Looking sharp. <laughs> <laughs> what you? What, what, what the fucking team you are, bro? You want me to check you on, bro? Wait, 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 what are you saying, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You, you, you want me to pull it out? Oh, oh, oh! You did. Oh. Di separuh masa yang pertama pertemuan Bahrain, Jesse Merah berdepan dengan pasukan kebangsaan Malaysia. Cuba untuk membuat satu rimbatan atau mencari peluang. Nanti dari Azam untuk Matt Davis lepas dari Matt Davis kali ini peluang bagi pasukan kebangsaan. Ah. <laughs> Hampir dihukum dan inilah jawapannya. Ah! Daripada daripada midfield, eh, kalau kita lihat empat pemain dalam pertandingan kita sampai ke bawah, midfield kurang, mereka ada masa untuk melakukan rematan. Cuma tidak berjaya menghasilkan gol yang ketiga. Namun lihat bagaimana ruang kosong, bahaya kedudukan ini. Junior menyelamatkan keadaan. Di Rifa, di Stadium Nasional Bahrain. Nice way, no? 2-0 loss to Bahrain tonight. Chilling with me and Louis. Obviously disappointing, but it's a, it's a good progress forward for the team going to UAE. And obviously there's lots of negative comments tonight. And, you know, it's just difficult for football, footballers to... It's what we do. We, we get together after a game. We talk, we discuss the game. And, like, you know, I've got my teammates here upset about, you know, reading comments and stuff. And it's just... I think sometimes people forget that we are only yeah, human beings and we have emotions and feelings game, and I've spoken about it a lot before in football, you know, yeah, it's uh, people don't remember from your last game. But anyway, it's a progressive start on to the next and, um, you know, big, 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 big push now for the, for the final three games. Yeah. to do another PCR test before we fly back to Dubai. Um, yeah, obviously disappointing with yesterday's result. Um, losing 2-0, but it was obviously a big improvement from the game against Kuwait. Um, it's something that we can take on board going into the first game um, against UAE, which is, you know, for me, our final. Um, you know, we get a point or, you know, even managed to win, it's, it's just huge, huge, huge for our morale for the team going into Vietnam and Thailand. Um, look, I thought the boys did well, you know. There was individual mistakes in the game, which happens in football, that, that punished us. Um, you know, Bahrain played Ukraine the week before away and managed to draw. You know, so anything can happen in football. Um, but I think it's important that our boys keep our heads high and keep the morale good. Um, again, a lot of negativity online um, you know i had my own teammates coming into my my room last night about the comments that they've read about themselves and you know i'll give them the same advice in the, in the sense of you know just got to remember that we're all human beings and you know we have feelings and stuff and you know when i'm seeing comments about immigrants etc like this you're an immigrant it's just it's horrible to see horrible to see you know i, I speak to the boys last night just uh it's just important that we keep the morale high and we stay together and we stay like a family um, boys are there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got training today, PCR test training, and we've got five five days to prepare for the next game. So. Our final session in Bahrain training camp di Kap Bahrain semua friendly dah habis. Um, so sekarang besok kita nak gerak pergi Dubai masuk hotel. Um, pas tu hotel tu ada bubble tak boleh keluar pun semua. So itu time ni yang memang kita punya 
final lah First game ni lawan UAE memang Malaysia punya final So kita harap boleh menang um, You know, we've got a lot of faith um, The team morale is very good We're really focused It's been a really good camp so far um, You know, the results haven't obviously come our way um, And they're friendlies But, you know, they're friendlies And they're these are the kind of games that we can afford to to make mistakes and, and learn from them. Um, yang penting kita belajar dengan mistake kita buat dalam game. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm I'm so honoured and and proud to to be here. And you know, Coach Tan mentions a lot that you know when we're here like a family, it, it, it is our own spe- special family, and everyone's away from from their wives, their kids, their girlfriends, etc., their families, and and when you're here, you sort of have that emotion together where you're away from everyone else but you're here together and you're all here for one cause so it makes it just that little bit special when you're representing your nation um, um, together as a, as a 26 sort of squad man squad including obviously the coaches and staff so this is the end of this vlog on the honest footballer um, please belong subscribe share um, like, comment, um, you know, about all the players here, etc. Um, you know, my roommate's Louis, obviously, he's, he's um, his first camp. So, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for following the journey on The Honest Footballer. I hope you enjoy all the behind the scenes sort of footage. I try to get as much as I can. Um, like I said, please like, share, subscribe right here. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next episode of The Honest Footballer where we will be facing UAE, Vietnam and Thailand for the World Cup qualifiers.